some weeks ago, when I was taking my usual Calf Maga class, I got kicked in the balls, not once, not twice, but three times. Now, that fucking hurt, <laughs> to say the least. It's just not a pleasant experience, but I would actually recommend it. Why? In case you don't know, Krav Maga is sort of like a martial arts taught by the Israeli Special Forces with the ultimate goal of effectiveness before looking pretty. Yes, right, here we are on the bus. Guys grab me and for no good reason because I'm a nice respectable middle-aged guy he's gonna come in here and start to stab the hell out of me. Stab me there with back, right back, back here, position like so. So what I have to do. So the reason I was getting kicked in the ball so often is because I've gotten used to sloppy technique. I'm a very big guy. If you fight me and if your technique is not top-notch, I will win. It's simply because I am 6'4", 194 centimeters. I weigh 103 kilograms, give or take, which is about 225 pounds. I have quite a bit of experience, so I can use that to my advantage. Nevertheless, the person whom I was fighting with was far more experienced than I was. I moved to my left and he kicked me in the balls. This hammered home several points. The thing is, I was going to my left side. And if you know anything about fighting, that is an idiotic move. Because people tend to be right-hand dominant. Hence, their position will likely be like this. Hence, by moving to your left side, you're opening up either directly to a punch or to get kicked. Chain tucked in. Then from here, I'll push through like this and take him like so. Hence, when you're fighting, the best way to avoid getting punched, to avoid getting kicked, is to go to your right because the other person is also right-hand dominant. Hence, they'll only be able to jab because they're probably going to have their foot, the left foot to the front. Hence, you're able to kick them in the balls whilst you are in relative safety. So that's the thing. I was theoretically aware of this knowledge, but I didn't apply that because I was just used to sloppy technique because I could get away with it. So the guy I was fighting with exploited my mistakes a lot. That's why I ended up getting a groin guard. But see, here's the thing. Most people, if I tell them this, that they'll get kicked in the balls, that would be it. They would not want to take this class, even if they want to get good at self-defense. Why? The thing is, when you're unwilling to experience pain in any shape or form, what you are unwilling to experience in any shape or form is growth. Because Growth only happens when you're forced to meet new circumstances. When you're forced to do something where you're unsure whether you will succeed. If you're not willing to risk getting hurt, you're not willing to risk becoming a better person. You're not willing to risk mastering the skill set that you want to master. Hence, pain is useful. I'm not saying that you should become a masochist and embrace every single blow that life has on you. Quite the contrary, hence why I ended up buying the groin guard. Yes, it is a useful teacher, but I'm not just gonna stand there and take every single blow that life throws at me. On the contrary, I want to hit back. I want to get better at it. And I understand Paint's role as a teacher. I understand that I have to take some injuries along the way to get better at the skill. And see, I don't think this is something that the vast majority of people understand. Getting kicked in the balls showed me. It taught me that I shouldn't move in that direction, that I shouldn't go to my left on the contrast, go to my right because that way I can more easily duck. But pain was the ultimate teacher. I think with good reason, Buddha said that life is suffering. 
say if you want to grow stronger at the gym you actually have to put yourself in a situation where you can experience pain where you're not quite sure whether you'll succeed so that's the thing when you grow stronger you're essentially breaking down your muscle and forcing it to adapt to new circumstances you're causing micro tears and this becomes the basis under which you build stronger muscles so if you are one of the few who actually understands and embraces the role that pain has life becomes that much more easy experience is what we call our past mistakes and failures if you're unwilling to take risks if you're unwilling to take the step and put yourself out there then by the time you're 40 by the time you're 50 you'll have no experience and you'll be none the wiser so that is why getting kicked in the balls a few sessions back was a good thing because now I've learned my lesson now I know what I ought to do and as a consequence I'm a much better fighter than I was a month ago so embrace the role that pain has in teaching you about life no matter no matter whether it's in circumstances relating to the, your job to your love life to fighting it doesn't matter you just need to take the punches you just need to learn how to cope with the discomfort and put it to your advantage thank you hope to see you next week